All right, so what we're ready to do now is to pull the carpet down. We've already marked on the other side where our, uh, where our screws are going to come through, but we do have to get access from the inside of the car. So we're at the passenger footwell here. If you remember, we've already pulled this uh, trim piece over here on the kick panel when we, when we got to the junction box. That did need to come off. Uh, as you can see, the carpet would have been behind that. This is gonna be, should be kind of simple at this point. We're just going to go ahead and grab um, the carpet and there is a, a solid plate behind it and we're just going to kind of ease it out here and pull it down there we go and we're exposing this which is a, uh, a sound dampening unit we are going to have to take our knife and put a cut in it because it is uh, it is lapped this goes in fairly early when the when the vehicle was being uh, being in, uh, built so we're going to take it and we're going to cut right here real quickly there we go. I don't know if you can see that, but we just made a cut right here. I'm going to go ahead and lift this up out of the way. Um, this is where our screws are going to be coming through later. We want to check all our clearance. We've got our heater core over there as well. So now what we've done, we just moved this out of the way. We've exposed under the footwell uh, our carpeting pulled down, and we're just making sure that everything is going to look good. Our other holes are going to come through over here, one about here and one about here. It's about a half inch up and over from this when we saw that little X on the other side where we marked them. So, all right, so what we're gonna do now, we've marked everything, we're gonna go ahead and drill three starter holes uh, with, our, with a small drill bit. And we're just gonna go in and set a punching. Because we're not banging on the sheet metal, but we know that we've got a, nice, uh, got a nice hole here and we can get a bigger drill bit. We're gonna drill them with a quarter inch after that. So we're using quarter inch uh, round head fasteners. And there we go, we're through. And this is the last one, we already did the first one. And here, we just want to get in the center. And we're just going to pop that through. And just going through the metal here again into the, into the passenger compartment. Let's get that one off of there. Put the quarter inch on. Good. Now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make some holes here. I'm just going to angle a little bit in. We've got the heater core there, but no big issue. We just want to make sure we go through gently and only one time. If we need to, if we need to get these holes hogged out a little bit, we'll use a round file rather than a, there we go, uh, rather than anything else. And these two, we know where they're not near anything at all. Whoops, and we'll back that out. There we go. And we got one more up here. And it's nice to have either a starter hole or a punch hole just to get this drill bit centered. And be through here in a second. Whoops. And there you go. So we've got three holes. We're going to clean those up with a, uh, uh, with a file, with a round file. And then we're going to put the screws in from the inside. We'll show you that. And uh, bolt up our heater unit. All right. So we've got two of the screws through here from the inside. We're going to push the third one through. And you'll be able to see that one coming through the uh, firewall right now. And there it goes, and we've got them all. Now we're going to put some insulating material here. We've got some more of our favorite uh, stuff here, our truck bed liner. And we're going to go ahead and get this in there and uh, put that on just like that. And that'll give us a nice, uh, a nice insulation through there. We've got a, another piece of this here. We're going to put that on. And we've got the uh, one screw there. And one screw there. And we'll just go ahead and push those through from the inside. We'll go ahead and get our go ahead and get our brackets on there. And we'll be in good shape now to go ahead and uh, and hook up the bracket. Alright, so we've got it up there. We're gonna go ahead and tighten our uh, our nylocks. Um, so this is on there really good and tight. 
we really didn't have enough room. We didn't want a bunch of, uh, of uh, studs, screws protruding from uh, uh, into the uh, motor compartment, I guess we call it now. So put another one on there. Let's uh, go ahead and tighten that one up. Get a hold of it. There we go. Good. Got one more on the other side. Let's just make sure it's secured. And there we go. So, and you can tell we've got a little bit of plumbing to do, obviously. We've got our heater core uh, back here. Our outlets are here. Here's our, our inlet and outlet here as well on, uh, on our unit. Also got some uh, right here. Also got some wiring to do. We already know that we cleared this plug here. And this is our, uh, our pump motor. But we're in. We're mounted. We've got a nice little... Uh, little vibration dampening system in here with that uh, truck bed mat. All right, so now we're at the point where we had to take the stock hoses, determine if we could use them or not in the application, and we can't. There, as you can see, uh, preformed with, a, with bends in them to come up from the, uh, the rear of the, uh, the heater out to the, up to the engine to circulate uh, the, the fluid. So we are going to use, however, these little connectors. And uh, the connectors are pretty cool. They've got a spring-loaded uh, little spring that clips into it. You can only use it in one direction. Uh, it goes right into, the, uh, right into the firewall connection. And then we simply snap that up. The reverse of that is how that comes off. And that's really that. Uh, we've made up two hoses. Went ahead and dry fitted them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this on there. And this is uh, the hose that will be for the, uh, for the right side. And this is the hose that's going to be for the left side. And again, we had to make these. We also had to take a three-quarter inch, which is what's coming out of that outlet and actually what fits onto these, uh, and take a reducer. So it's three-quarter inch on this side hose, a reducer that's three-quarter to five-eighths, and then five-eighths inch hose, which is actually what's the, uh, which is the outlet and inlet on our uh, MES uh, RM4 heater. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put these on and show you what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and fit the hoses up now. We've already put the, the left one up. That's really difficult to see. We're going to put our connector up, our stock BMW connector. Again, as I told you, it only goes one way. It's got notches in it. Spring clip. That's on. All right, so this hose is going to go on this side. This is our, uh, this is our inlet side. It's going to go there. Go ahead and get that, get that hose clamp in, tighten down. Don't want to go to the end of the hose, and so you don't even have to have it super, super tight. Just have a, have it clamped down or it's cinched. And we'll do our outlet side. This is again the side where the pump is. And the same with the hose clamp. Just snug it down nice and don't go to the end of the hose. There's always a little um, a little barb, a little area there. Also BMW has you know, provided us with nice uh, connectors and other things to route things. So let's, we're going to go ahead and use that, clamp that on and we have done it. The uh, the MESDEA RM4 uh, water heater and pump is installed in the vehicle. We've got, obviously got wiring to do, but we don't have the pack in here yet. And uh, have to work on the, get the signal on this side of the pump. And we are looking good. So there you go. Hopefully uh, that is that.